Alright, so we won't need this uh, UV image editor window anymore because we've, we've done with our UV mapping. So I'm just going to right click on the, the dividing line here, join area, and then move my mouse up so I get this arrow, join those windows back together. Uh, that's all covered in the, the earlier tutorials. Alright, so um, we're going to add a, a bone, um, a series of bones to the inside of the can and then have a go at bending the, the, the can around. So what we need to do is this 3D cursor Let's position that at the, the bottom of our model. I'm just going to press Z to go into wireframe mode so I can see a bit more clearly where I am. And I want to put the cursor about there. Just checking my front and side view to make sure that, um, on my top view as well, to make sure that the, the 3D cursor is very much in the center of my um, of my can. Okay. So to add a bone, we go Shift A, um, and it's this one here: Shift A, armature, single bone. Um, I can't see it. Um, at the moment because it's inside my can, if I press the Z key to go into wireframe mode you can see the bone um, has been added here. So we can see the bone while we're working, um, looking at our model from different angles with the, the bone inside. What we can do is click on our um, object data option here for the armature and then come down and turn X-ray on. So now the, the bone is visible even though it's inside the model regardless of where I rotate or look at this um, object I'm always going to see that bone inside which is useful at this stage okay so back in front view I'm going to go into edit mode with the bone selected take the bone into edit mode and I'll just have a look at what we have here so we've got um, a base and a tip on our bone um, which can each be um, moved separately and then we've got the, the actual arm of the bone which can be moved or rotated um, so what we really want to do right now we're just going to keep it quite simple and make three bones so we're going to grab the tip so I'm just right clicking on the tip of this this bone and then going G and then Z to grab it along the Z axis Okay, so we're going to have one, two, three bones, so that's that's about right there. To bring out my second bone now, I can press E to extrude, Z for Z axis, and I'm just extruding out from that tip a second bone. And then one more time, E and then Z, and third bone. Oops. Okay, so what we need to do now is to attach the can and the armature so that Blender knows that they, these bones are going to be used for deforming the can. So we're going to select the can now and then in our modifiers, the spanner here, add a modifier and choose armature. Okay, so we've told the told Blender that this can uh, object is going to use an armature. We just need to tell it which armature object um, it's going to use because we could have multiple armatures in our scene, multiple bone structures in our scene. So we need to just click on this um, object button here and choose the armature that we created. Now we've only got one, so we know that's it. Just click on that. Okay, so now um, the can is attached to our bones, um, but we need to now tell Blender at what uh, th this bone attaches to this part of the can, this bone attaches to this part of the can, this bone attaches to this part of the can, so where it's going to deform the object. Um, okay, so I've got my armature selected. I'll we'll take it into pose mode. So this is a new mode of operation for armatures. 
and in pose mode we can simply rotate and move these bones around um, as you can see okay and then I'll select my can object and take it into weight paint mode um, so we've got a an armature that's in pose mode our can in object mode in weight paint mode rather and you can see it turns blue all right so in weight paint mode if I select a, a bone I've got these options down the side here for um, defining um, painting onto my model where my currently selected bone is going to cause deformations in my object um, best way I can explain this is just to show you um, straight up so if I bring my strength slider here up to full and then just paint across my model you can see that the the um, the can is sort of getting different shades on it ranging from red to yellow to blue green and what this is telling blender is the current bone that I have selected where the can is turning red this bone is going to deform that can um, completely entirely and when we have these other colors fading towards blue this is where we get um, somewhat less of a deformation. Um, if I just uh, straight away start rotating my bone, and we've still got a way to go, but you can see that um, the, the bone is affecting the blue, uh, the red highlighted areas on my can more than the, the yellow and the blue isn't getting affected at, at all. Okay, so going to side view, keep painting this. So we just we want that bottom bone just selecting the the bottom part of my can. So I'm pressing one for front view, and then Control one will give me the back view. So I can keep painting, and then three for side view, and Control three. So three for right view, Control three for left view, and that's fine. Um, where I've painted over a little bit too far here. I'll just bring my weight slider back down to zero and I can paint that back off. Okay, so that's bottom bone is is nicely oh, just got a bit to get on the bottom there, I'll bring the weight back up to full. Okay, so that bottom bone is affecting the bottom part of the can. Select the second bone. You can see when I go to my second bone that um, this bone has its own weight painting so that red disappears and then I can just go and get this the second section um, and you're free to work with this as you uh, sort of change this and um, refine it as you start animating so you'll probably find when you get into this that the first time you do your weight painting you'll find there's still a few things you need to tidy up, maybe you need to paint a little bit further up in some points or or vice versa, maybe you've painted a bit too far, you need to sort of come back and that's fine, that's just sort of a, a process of fine tuning what you're doing. Okay, so one for front view, control one for back view, and then three, and control three, Fine. Okay, and then the top one. Okay, so right now, if I for instance, grab my middle bone and hit R to rotate and see where we're getting. Um, mostly it's working quite well, but we've forgotten to paint the, the top of the can here. Let's hit uh, Control Z and go select our top bone again, rotate around to our top view, and paint this one in. You can see how I can just, while I'm working, I can 
rotate bones, see how it's going, and if something's not working, I just um, get back, get the bones back straight, and then fix up whatever's whatever's um, not cooperating. Okay, so R to rotate. That one's going fine, and try this one. R to rotate. That's fine. So we're we're getting a, a fairly nice deformation on the can. All right, so I'll leave it at that, and uh, in the next video we'll look at how to start animating.